Hi everyone. So today we are going to talk about Nexus iOS upgradation of the model 93180 YCEX24 switch. Now this is a new model switch and the as a network engineer the first difficulty what I found was regarding the iOS upgrade documentation where Cisco there was not much of a documentation. So to be precise there are three types of system softwares. Uh, software types which are firmware, SMU and system software. So basically you could find the documentation for system softwares everywhere. So these, this is the document what you might have seen like how do we install the system software. But there was no such documentation, proper documentation for firmware which I was facing difficulty. So I thought uh, let me put a video in this first. Okay, so let's skip to the, uh, the introduction and move to the implementation part. So I have set up a VM environment in my laptop which is a VM workstation and uh, I am reaching that from my normal browser. So this is my EVNG environment, uh, Nexus iOS and I have spinned up the VM. So basically this has is a VM environment, this is an iOS updation what I am going to show you. So let me just try installing that. So what you see here is a default uh, switch login. I have set a username password of admin admin. If you set up a even environment, the default password will be admin admin. So for this, first of all, we will look into the firmware upgradation. So for a firmware upgradation, so you will have to download the file which will be below download switches, data center, nexus and uh, uh, below the nexus model switch and you will have to click on firmware so that you will be redirected to a firmware so software where you will have to download this okay so the ios upgradation will be something like this so first of all while you are doing so you will have to go into the you will have to enable the feature as bash so go under corner t and do a feature bash so you have enabled the bash cell so you can see that under the feature configuration okay so once that is done you will have to go into the bash mode which is nothing but bash sudo and sudo so you are into the bash mode now so basically uh, this is where you will have to upgrade the firmware first so this command tells you exactly what is the current version what you have or the firmware version what you have so it will be smart serial hyphen a slash dev slash sda and a right e grep model firmware and ask So here you can see that the firmware version is this. So we will be upgrading this firmware version to a new one. So the commands what you will have to do is more like this. So first of all when you run, when you go into the bash you will have to create a login or login. So this soup 28 or something like a supervisor you will have you can get that under the show modules. So So this is where you will get the uh, our login uh, module number. So as this is a VM, so there is not much of a module here. So generally, you, this is where you will have to pick up the uh, super uh, supervisor number. So you will have to enter that super number along with the all login. So you can see the command here. It's nothing but all login and the super number. So here I won't be getting anything. So you can just see that uh, the command will be all login. And the soup number. So once that is done, you can you'll have to copy the script, which is the firmware I was upgrade firmware uh, file what you have downloaded, and you should move that or copy that from the boot flash to the temporary folder. Temp folder is nothing but a temporary folder what you are creating in the center. So once you do that, 
So you will have to copy that. Once that copying is done, you can see that you can see the file under the temp folder. So you can see that by giving ll or else. So let me see. So ls. ls is where you will find the files which are already there. So these are the existing files which are already there in the VM environment. So as you see the upgrade file firmware, if once you copy it, you will be able to find that under the cd slash temp which is under inside the temp folder. Okay. Once you have done that, next you will have to configure the, means extract the uh, VM file here. So uh, once this is where you are going to extract this file name and you are going to see what is inside that. So it's basically the upgrade firmware and what is the what are the files inside, which is nothing but dot bin two file. These are the uh, firmware files what we are going to install. So the command to do that is dot slash and the upgrade because already we are inside a temp folder. So we'll be upgrading the we'll be uh, extracting the file name from here, which is this this is the command. So I I see that a lot of people make a mistake here. The reason is I'll just show you. So this, this will be the command, it will be the entire file name and uh, you give an enter. I will just say the trick what people miss out here. Okay. So as here there is no such file or directory but what generally people do is once you see this file name right, you copy the entire file name. So that is what most of us do. So once you copy and paste it here, it doesn't work because uh, we find that we think that maybe it's a different model or something. But if you note here, the executive command should, should not have any parameters. That is dot tz dot gz should not be there. So some I have seen some people making these mistakes. So when you give the only the file name, then you, it starts the uh, firmware upgradation. So once you give that, you see all these stuffs happening and uh, after which the end of it will be showing like a firmware has been updated successfully. So post which again you have to see the uh, version number or the model number command what we gave that was under here. Yeah. So the same smart control uh, and you will find the you will find the uh, firmware to be upgraded which is which will be the fire firmware version what you have given. So here if we see the firmware version as 5, so it will be moved to 5. Okay, this is how the first set of firmware upgradation has to be done. So once that is done, then it's pretty much easy like the old school. So what you'll have to do is, once you do this firmware upgrade, then you'll have to come to switch, which is the normal mode. And then you'll have to do the initial set of configurations. So here uh, next we will be downloading the uh, system software which will be here and then you will be uh, downloading the version audio. So as per my advice what I feel is what, what I do is generally you don't go for the latest version. Most of the time there will be a recommended version will be a, which is more marked by a star but in some new devices it's not there. So what you will have to do is you, will have, you can click the latest uh, patch of the older version. So here if you see 9.3.6 so this is one it was developed it was released on 10 November which is a stable version and the advanced thing is that you can find a release on below that as well. So that will be called as a SME which is a patch. So you can see that software maintenance upgrades. So you see that 9.36 has the latest patch of 24 March 2021. So you will have the bug fix everything for the existing 9.36 here itself. So once you do I mean, upgrade iOS and then run the patching, so it's almost like it is upgraded till 24 March 2021. So it's always better to do this way than go for the latest version and then find out a bug yourself and race to Cisco. It's all a complicated stuff. So next what you'll have to do is just to follow the documentation, you will have to upgrade the iOS which is the system software. So there is a command you will have to do. So next the iOS upgradation which is the system software wherein here you will have to uh, just copy the boot flash, copy the iOS into the boot flash 
what you already know it will be to the tftp server or a cp then once that is done we will see see the commands or see the boot which is there the file which is there under the boot flash so we will have to just give dir space at the boot flash command to see what where the, is the file already copied properly so you will be seeing that under this environment so once that is done so next if, if there is no space you can delete the older version and then uh, you see you just copy all the stuffs basically uh, it is more like an scp of the device into the new version so what they are doing is they don't have enough space so they are just deleting the old and putting a new one here and once that is done there are main three steps what you need to do you shouldn't directly go and go and upgrade the ios the reason is because it might have some impact so here what we are going doing is you are seeing if the file is already present once you have verified that you have copied the checksum value so it is used for uh, checking the if the it is updated properly so once that is done you have taken the key now you will have to give a show install all in back so this command basically gives you the exact uh, uh, impact analysis of the uh, new ios so if you put this ios into place you will see what are the impacts you, it might be causing to environment before even installing that so that is a very good feature which uh, nexus has brought up here so the command is show install all impact and nx os and the os name so here this is the one so if you run an impact you will see what are the things which are happening which will impact devices if we install so it will run its own course i am just going through the documentation here so you see that it will go through all the image files and a lot of other stuff which it does in the background so it just verifies what is there any impact and then is there a compatibility check so once that is done you will see if it if this ios is compatible to your device and is there any issues while installing that so once that will be done so you will be able to identify what are the exact issues should you upgrade it first of all and also you can take a backup of this file or the output so that later on if you if you are process oriented company you can just show them that okay i have run the impact analysis and there is no such issue so that's the reason we have upgraded it okay so i'll just pause here and uh, once this success rate is done i'll just next do what are the other steps what needs to be done the images are getting the impact analysis is happening in our vm environment or in our nexus device and it is just checking like what are the impacts it might be causing preparing module checks nx os and bios version and all the stuff it might take a bit of time so but it's worth the time because uh, you do a perfect uh, dialysis before uh, you do a device upgradation that is the best practice first of all i'm going to skip it for now because it's taking a lot of time as this is a vm environment anyway we won't be installing it so as i said before this is the best practice so once you run the dialysis it will be checking the compatibility check and also the image of means image of the upgradation status and everything so the new version will have all these features and all so once that is done you will have to write the configuration just copy run start and then you will have to install the command install the ios so installing the ios is the usual step what you do so it's nothing but install all nx os and the file i'm just going to give you a that's it so it will start its installation so once this process is done wherein the installation is complete so it will again take some time so once the installation is complete uh, we we'll have to check if the installation is done properly and what is the version uh, we will pause we will wait for the installation to be completed and then we will look into the logs 
So once the installation is complete, as the VM, as I said, uh, the installation will be proper. So once that is done, so you have to give the command, which is the show install all status. So this shows exactly what was the installation status and uh, how it worked. So as I have aborted here, just stopped here. But other than that, if you run a proper installation, you will see everything as success. And also you can give the show version to find it with if the Nexus has upgraded properly. So there is the Nexus version. And what is the iOS which is running? So this is the image. Okay. So these are the things what you will have to look into. Uh, so I think this gives a clear understanding. So I'll just brief what I have done before. So first of all, before installation, you have to download the firmware and the SMU and also the system software. Once you completed the firmware, which I said in the beginning, so you can just go back and see that steps. Once that is done, you can will have to do the system software. So once system software upgradation is done then the important thing is you will have to do the patching which is the software maintenance so i see that if, even if you do install this package there is no uh, reload required so it's always better to do this but the best way to do is do a, have to do this is during a maintenance window so that it will be of no impact just in case if something happens so all the best to uh, for you to do this ios upgrade and let me know your comments below thank you for your time thank you bye bye